I'm Sabrina Samuels, and welcome to my show, Upfront and Personal. It's my intention to deliver information that will help us maintain a quality lifestyle in all aspects of our lives. So let's get started. Welcome back to another edition of the Sabrina Samuels Show with me, Sabrina Samuels. Well, on this edition, I'd like to answer another question from one of my subscribers. She asked me, Sabrina, how do you feel about all of the reality television shows, especially the housewife shows? Well, let's get right to it. I do enjoy the housewife shows. I watch two. I watch the housewives of Atlanta, and I also watch uh, the housewives of Potomac. And um, they're very entertaining, and I, I enjoy them very much. I love love the fashion. Uh, I love the camaraderie. I love you know the the things that these women get involved with. Remember, uh, keep in mind that a lot of this is entertainment, although their lives are intertwined because they have to, on any reality show, you have to really give your life and in terms of how you live. They want the real deal because they want to re reach people. They want people to feel them and who they are and connect to them in one way or the other. I connect with them in terms of fashion. I love uh, their zest for life. I love when I see them interacting uh, personally with their families. There's a lot of good things uh, to those shows. Now some people pick up only on the negative things, some of the feuding and fighting. I don't like that so much, but when I went to LA, I say, this is 19, I'm sorry, oh my God, this is 2018. And uh, I've been in this business since 1982 but primarily on the image side, helping people, my finishing school for girls and uh, empowerment uh, program for successful women. So basically I was doing that for a number of years. So that was the aspect of my business. However, I did have three television shows in the California area, in the Oakland, San Francisco Bay area. Maybe eight years ago, maybe eight years or less, I went to Los Angeles. I was invited to pitch my show to a host of producers and they told me I was not salacious enough. They were not interested in what I am, you know, what I'm doing in terms of etiquette and protocol and manners and all of that. They were not interested. They were interested in salacious material. So there's no mistake of what we're seeing now, but that's what sells. That's what cuts that TV on for you and me and a lot of other people. It sells. Salacious material sells. Now, in one way, I think we need to analyze it and say, is this what I want to pattern my life after? Because I guarantee you, these women, when the cameras are off, they live a normal life like you and I. I think that we should pair it with something like myself. You know, the etiquette and protocol along with all of the uh, wonderful, exciting um, footage that we're seeing from the housewives and many of the reality shows. I, I think life in general is a reality show nowadays. <laughs> Just everything we do seems to be reality and it, uh, you know, saying I want to be transparent and I want to be this and that. So everything we do is, is actually a reality uh, TV when you think about it. The way we live our lives, etc. I like to say that we have to pick and choose what we like to take away from programming. Now, in my case, with what I do on YouTube, I am definitely still interested in, in going uh, to uh, national television. But in my format, what I do, and I think it's a good pairing, so that people will have uh, a choice between two uh, opportunities to look at uh, how people live, how people uh, carry themselves, and what you can do and what you shouldn't do. Now, that is not to cast aspersions on the reality shows because, as I said, I enjoy them, I DVR them, and I, as a matter of fact, uh, can't wait to see what they're wearing because I'm a fashion kind of girl. And, I, of course, that's why I wore this for you, okay? But uh, I also think that what I do and what I try to pitch to Hollywood, 
a few years ago and for many years uh, is very important as well. So I think when we can pair the two, it makes a wonderful, wonderful uh, opportunity for us all to grow and to love and to, to see life for what it is. Because when these cameras go off, and I'm not in front of these cameras, I'm just regular every day like you and me. And do I get angry and mad? Absolutely. Do I know how to pop? Let's see, can I pop my neck? I know how to, do I, <laughs> am I doing it? I know how to pop my neck too. I know how to let people know where I'm coming from. And primarily in my personal setting with my family members. But I also know how to conduct myself when I step out in public. And that's what I exemplify etiquette and protocol. So I think that it's a beautiful mixture. So if you're out there, you're looking, and you want to see me on national television, as you all write to me and say, why aren't you on national television? Why aren't you here and there? Well, you have to speak up and speak out. People like me, uh, we, have to, we have our voice, but we have to have people like you who want this. If you want it, then it'll happen. But unless you want it, people will read something else in the picture, and you'll get exactly what you're getting. And there's nothing wrong with it, but I think the spice of life is very important. So I hope that answers uh, the young lady's question about do I watch reality television. I think life is reality, and I think on television it's bringing to us exactly what we want to see. So if you like what I'm doing, make sure you put it out there. Make sure you let them know you want to see Sabrina Samuel. So until God opens that door for me, I'll continue to bring to you what I do best, and I'll continue to watch my two reality shows because I do enjoy them. And I want you to know I appreciate you out there. All of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel, thank you so very much. Please tell your friends about me. Please share me with your friends and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. I'd like to ask you to go to my website, sabrinasamuels.com which is my company, The Beckman Method, and see what we're all about. And I've been in business since 1982, so let me help you. Look at my website, see the wonderful self-help items we have available, and give me a call when you have that opportunity. I would certainly appreciate it. Remember, life is beautiful. Our Heavenly Father made it that way. He wants us to enjoy life to the fullest, but you have to know it. You have to believe it. You have to believe it in order to receive it. Until next week, I wish you love, peace, happiness, and our Heavenly Father's divine order. Talk to you later. Bye now. My name is Nawanda, and I received an hour and a half of uh, phone consultation from Mrs. Sabrina Samuel. It was excellent. I believe that I have the power in me to succeed and become what God has truly ordained me to be. I just had my hour and a half consultation with Ms. Sabrina Samuel and um, <laughs> I heard the previous consultations and thought, oh, maybe they think we're exaggerating, but now that I've had my session, oh my God, that was just a power pack, hour and a half. This is Linda. I must say that it more than met my expectations. It has been oh, so, so, such a revelation such a personal revelation and I really, really feel I'm on the right track. The, I came to Sabrina Samuels uh, thinking that I knew what I should be doing to get the next level in my woman's in success. But after our session together, Mr. Samuels was able to pull back layers that I did not even know were there and we uncovered what was at the root of me moving forward. So these sessions have been life-changing, game-changing, aha moments um, that have truly resonated with me and have yielded a bunch